it was 1983, that summer when uh, Kapil Dev lifted that Prudential Cup at the balcony at Lords. That was when I decided that I wanted to be a cricketer. In fact, I wanted to be the next Kapil Dev. Uh, at the age of six, uh, I forced my dad to take me to uh, Mr. Tarak Sena, who was a well-known coach in Delhi. So we went on a scooter. I was the pillion rider. We had a box of uh, uh, balls, those heavy rubber balls. Uh, went there. So the first question that he asked me was, so what do you do, bat or bowl? I said both, like uh, all kids of uh, uh, that age would. So he asked me, so do you bowl spin or fast? I said, of course both, uh, like any any other kid of that uh, age would. So that's I think that's when he decided that uh, talking about batting or bowling was futile, and uh, he just taught me how to take uh, a catch, and and I went away, and for one full year that's all I did. I just practiced taking catches uh, so much so that. I was I actually eventually uh, became quite good at it, and at the age of seven, uh, my peers or colleagues in, in colony they took me for uh, uh, their under 15 Delhi trials to the Firosha Kotla, and Mr. Tarak Sena happened to be the coach of Delhi at that time, and the first round uh, of elimination uh, was based on uh, high catches. If you drop one, you were out. If you take one, you were in and uh, were called the following day. So there were about 500 kids uh, sitting there, uh, Firosha Kotla, the, there was a smaller uh, ground which was called Kotla 2, uh, not there anymore. Uh, that's where the trials were happening. First catch, Skaya, a little kid, I was probably 6-7 inches uh, uh, shorter for my age at that time, uh, took that catch. The stadium, that small little place erupted because uh, a little kid taking a difficult catch. Couldn't throw the ball to the keeper because the keeper was too far. Probably I didn't have the strength. Um, Mr. Sinha thought, okay, it must be a fluke. Uh, let's let's try another one. He wouldn't do, do that for anyone else, but yes, uh, for a seven-year-old kid, uh, give him another one, another skyer, and I took that one as well. And the moment I did that uh, uh, again, throw didn't reach, but that didn't matter. So I was there for the next round, and that's when uh, the next round was on the following day. Uh, my dad thought, okay, let me just go and see where uh, these elder kids, the bigger ones, are taking uh, his seven-year-old kid uh, because he was told these are under 15 Delhi trials. What is a seven-year-old kid doing there? So I got uh, a chance to bat in the nets, and my height was uh, as much as uh, the stumps were. So I played about three balls. No, no, I shouldn't be saying that I played three balls because uh, two of them uh, went over my head. I went to fetch those balls, uh, somebody bowled another one and I was called out, uh, that's that's enough. And that's when uh, dad spoke to Mr. Sinha and he called me two years later. That's how it started and I was stubborn, I was a stubborn kid because two years, as soon as I turned nine, I was back at Sonnet Clear Club and that's where I stayed uh, for the rest of my life. And ended up taking a few more catches as the career uh, progressed, but then the last season when I played for Himachal. I ended up dropping about two or three catches uh, in the slip cordon. I was the captain. I had to remove myself from that cordon and that hurt. And I think uh, that's when I got to know that my time uh, had come. I needed to move on.